Hey guys, kya hal chal raha hai? Main Shubhat. So today we will be starting with a new series of rapid revision notes, whereby we will be learning about the quick pharma notes and quick pharmacy subjects. Hum almost within 10 minutes kudane ki puri koshish karenge, right from listing to their important topics. Hum bilkul uh, ekda achhe se quick recap recap karenge, and this is going to be a booster video for you all. So stay tuned. हम लोग वी विल बी कवरिंग ऑल दी सब्जेक्ट्स राइट फ्रॉम फार्मकोलॉजी फ्रॉम कॉग्नेसी फ्रॉम सूटिक्स फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी बायोकेमिस्ट्री जेडिस प्रोडेंस फार्मास्यूटिकल इंजीनियरिंग क्लिनिकल हॉस्पिटल फार्मेसी क्यू ए आर ए एक्सेट्रा सो स्टे ट्यून एंड वील बी लर्निंग ऑल ऑफ दिस सो मैन टॉक अबाउट फार्मकोलॉजी फार्मकोलॉजी में वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट सर्टन वन लाइनर्स यूजफुल टर्मिनोलॉजीज लाइक एगेनिस्ट एंटागोनिस्ट पार्शियल एगेनिस्ट इनवर्स एगेनिस्ट सो बस पीरॉन इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पार्शियल एगेनिस्ट Bicuculin is an example of competitive antagonist at GABA receptor, right? Beta carbonyl is an example of inverse agonist. Then paper setters favorite. There are certain topics or certain domains जहाँ से questions ज़रूर आते हैं. So paper setters favorites भी हम definitely एक बार try करेंगे. And mind maps. So when I talk about mind maps, basically हम लोग थोड़े से classification के mind maps, थोड़े से important चीज़ें we will be discussing. And certain tabulated summarized form I will be bringing to you. Now when I talk about pharmacology classification. What all things in classification are to be done on priority basis? Antifungal, anti-malarial, all the antibiotics, anti-gout, anti-viral, anti-Alzheimer and Parkinson. Alzheimer, all the neurodegenerative disorders are extremely important. Alzheimer, Parkinson, depression, psychosis. You cannot leave them. Epilepsy. राइट right? ये सारे क्लासिफिकेशन तो ऑन प्रायोरिटी करनी ही है एंड डिप्रेशन एपिलेप्सी साइकोसिस राइट एंटीसाइकोटिक ड्रग्स देन फ्रॉम कार्डियोवैस्कुलर सिस्टम एंड एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम वी हैव ओरल हाइपोग्लाइसेमिक एनेस्थेटिक्स एनसेट्स एनसेट्स एनेस्थेटिक्स में जनरल एंड लोकल एनेस्थेटिक्स बोथ देन यू हैव एंटी हाइपरटेंसिव एंटी हाइपरलिपिडेमिक एंटी अरिथमिया एंटी एंजाइना है ना यू शुड बी नोइंग लाइक फ्रॉम फंगल यू शुड बी नोइंग स्क्वालिन एपोक्सीडेस इनहिबिटर लैनोस्टरल प्रोटीन अल्फा डीमिथाइलिस इनहिबिटर सेल मेम्ब्रेन डैमेज कौन कराता है एम्फोटेरिसिन बी इनस्टैटिन नटामाइसिन ग्रिजियोफेलविन टर्बिनाफिन नाफ्टिफिन कीटोकोनाजोल क्लोट्रिमाजोल फ्लूकोनाजोल मीकोनाजोल एंड ऑल मलेरिया से प्रेमाक्विन पामाक्विन क्लोरोक्विन आर्टेमिसिलिन कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सल्फा डॉक्सेम एंड पाइरेमिथामिन सो ऑल दोस थिंग्स यू शुड बी नोइंग हेलोफेंट्रिन लैमिलिफेंट्रिन एंटीबायोटिक्स से फ्लोरोक्विनोलोन्स सल्फेनामाइड्स Uh, nitrofurantoins vancomycin bacitrexin cell membrane damage uh, cell uh, polymyxin and b and colistin viral actum antibiotics penicillin cephalosporin monobactam scabapinums those things aapko pata honi chahiye matlab you should be well versed with them acche se anti gout so of course you have a uh, lot of anti gout agents like probenzid benzpromazone sulfin pyrazone uricosuric synthesis in a bit uh, synthesis in a bit and metabolism promoters paclitaxel like rasburicase So NSAIDs, colchicine, and corticosteroids are used for acute gout and all. Virals, you should be knowing nucleoside inhibitors, transcriptase inhibitors, non-nucleoside, which are anti-herpes, anti-influenza, amantadine, rimantadine, oseltamivir, zanamivir, acyclovir, gelsiclovir, and all. Right? Delaviride, delaviridine, ribavirin. Psychotics, so you should be knowing clotrimazine, triflupirazine, hyaluronidol, resveratrol, typical and atypical antipsychotics. Which one has which side effects? Right? Then you have Alzheimer, Parkinson, say levodopa, carbidopa, amantadine. Uh, And then you have different tolcapone, entacapone, MAO, and COMT inhibitors. Alzheimer's say you should be knowing the vasting, ginkgo biloba, pirabidine. Depression say SSRI, SNRI, flexidine, peroxidine, citalopram, acetylene. Epilepsy say you should be knowing about the anti-epileptic drugs like uh, we have lot of twenitoin, ethoxamide, carbamazepine, valproic acid. Lot of lists is there. Topiramate, tigabine, vigabetrine, and all. Local and general anesthetics: lidocaine, lignocaine. Then you have from anesthetics very important uh, agents uh, like keto, ketamine, propofol, ultra short acting barbiturates. Instead, say so you have paracetamol, non-selective cox inhibitors, selective cox two, preferential cox two. So all those things. Oral hypoglycemic, so all DPP four inhibitors, SGLT two inhibitors, GLP agonist, uh, and you have different types of other drugs: metformin, biguanides, thiazolidine, thiazolidinones. Right, all those agents, and from hypertensive ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, all those things you should be knowing. Calcium channel blockers, lipid amino acid statins, fibrates, bile acid sequestrants, arrhythmia, say sodium channel blockers, potassium channel blockers, beta blockers, and finally from angina pectoris, fasciodel, ibuprofen, ranolazine, the novel agents you should be knowing. These are the prime important drugs. Other are also category are important. Like 
like uh, uh, there are a lot of anti tb drugs i forgot to mention anti tb that is also very important so first line is and pyrazinamide rifampicin isoniazid septomycin ethambutalan so you should be knowing their adverse effects like gray baby floppy baby red man blue baby purple to floppy iris cardiotoxicity nephrotoxicity neuromuscular blockage agranulocytosis malignant hyperthermia there are a lot of different adverse effects associated with different drugs so i mentioned so many adverse effects uh, let me know in the comment section uh, the answers that what are the drugs like gray baby syndrome chloramphenicol so let me know how many of you will know stevenson johnson syndrome fanconi syndrome so many different disorders are there receptors so in receptors we have ligand gated g protein enzyme linked and nuclear so you should be knowing examples which is intracellular and which is extracellular then uh, the response time like milliseconds seconds minutes and hours right so you should be knowing about this ligand gilder mein voltage gated and ion gated mein so ye sab aapko pata hona chahiye right jack stat pathway receptor tyrosine kinase pathway rtk g mein gq gi gs go which is adenine cyclase adenine cyclase cyclic free promoter and all clinical trials so from clinical trials you should be knowing specifically about different agents uh, like different volunteers number of volunteers types of volunteers healthy diseased kab hai when is ndf filed when is andf filed and then about clinical trials if i speak in more in detail then you should be knowing uh, about multi centric trials pilot studies where you carry out single blind randomized study and all so you should be knowing those phase and synonym microdosing phase first you first in human dose phase then you have therapeutic exploratory phase therapeutic confirmatory phase then you should be knowing about the active metabolites like spironolactone prednisolone digitoxin there are so many different agents that are pro drugs or they produce sulfur salicylic thiamine salicylic acid and sulfur pyridine so there are so many different uh, pro drugs or drugs that produce active metabolite as well and certain drugs that produce toxic metabolite like cyclophosphamide acrolein so you should be knowing the antidotes as well antidotes so like mesna is one of the important antidote right methane and car and car methane car and car so mesna is very very important right uh, it is uh, most frequently asked uh, uh, this things uh, antidote then you have different antidotes n acetyl cysteines and folinic acid mercaptoethen and sulfonic acid theek hai no folinic acid for uh, then vitamin k protamine fomipizole disulfiram fulomazenil and right? these are all different most frequently asked antidotes so you should be knowing then lead poisoning arsenic poisoning mercury poisoning med penicillamine disodium edta then you have british anti leucine or dimecaprol we have different types of agents that are used as the antidotes so you should be knowing that then sodium bicarbonate glucagon is used in insulin atropine then physostigmin pralidoxine right these are all example of antidotes in some of the other like conditions so you should be knowing them and uh, if there are any adverse drug reaction like mesna is used to treat ac like acrolein is a toxic metabolite that toxic metabolite causes hemolytic cystitis similarly doxorubicin causes cardiotoxicity so you should be knowing that which metabolite is causing and then certain drugs certain metabolites are more active like phase 2 metabolites of only three drugs is active morphine morphine 6 glucuronide selindac sulfide metabolite and minoxidil sulfate minoxidil ka sulfate metabolite so they are only phase 2 metabolites are active some drugs phase 1 metabolites are more active so after oxidation reduction hydrolysis there are certain metabolites which are so basically if i summarize and tabulate it all just give you a mind map we need to know the different classification that i mentioned they are of prime importance other bhi hai dusre bhi hai jaise ki endocrine oral contraceptives hai estrogen progesterone testosterone drug hai and then one classification i extremely forgot so sabse zyada important hai cancer her to inhibitors you should be knowing about the alkylating agents anti metabolites you should be know about anti cancer antibiotics doxorubicin bleomycin donorubicin right to poisomerase inhibitors you should be knowing then vinca uh, beta microtubule damaging taxanes and all so you should be knowing with, with it on the, it should be at the tip of your tongue so that's it for today's video i hope this video was very helpful to all of you all and you all study pharmacology very well so this gives you a mind map or a quick revision of what all things are to be done prior before pharmacy competitive examination whether it's government or it's normal any examination so yes stay tuned and do like share subscribe my channel for more such upcoming videos